Hey guys, it's Kim here with Fairly Fiber Fun. Thanks so much for joining me today. I am really excited to bring you this brand new video of how to spin on the great wheel, specifically how to teach yourself how to spin on the great wheel. Not an easy thing. Uh, walking wheels are drastically different from treadle spinning wheels. For one thing, one hand is occupied turning the wheel while the other hand, only one hand is in control of the fiber, the drafting, the yarn, everything. So if you're like me and you typically hold your fiber in your right hand and you control the twist with your left hand, so you draft like this or, you know, then learning to draft with the left hand only is a bit of a challenge for you like it was for me. And yes, my great wheel, you have to draft with the left hand. You have to turn the wheel with the right or it doesn't work. I tried turning my wheel around and nope, it wouldn't do. So, oh well, I taught myself how to do this and I thought I would share with you how I taught myself and let you guys know that you can step away from the traditional style of spinning on a great wheel. You don't have to be traditional. You don't have to do things the way other people do them. You do what works for you. You find a way that works for you and you go for it. Make the yarns you love, the way you love, on the wheel you love. All right, so without further ado, let's get started. So the most important part of spinning on the great wheel is fiber prep. If your fiber is not airy and loose enough, it's not going to want to draft and you're just gonna fight with it and be frustrated. Ask me how I know. I fought with my fiber like crazy before I figured this out. And even though I watched a million, million other YouTube videos, not literally, there's not that many on the Great Wheel, but anyway, you get the idea. Even though I watched a ton of videos on how to do this, that part never seemed to sink in. So I just need to stress it to you. Make sure you prep your fiber really, really well. It's worth it. Less fiber on the hand cards than I normally like to do and take your time and make sure there's lots of air and you know how how this works depends on your fiber this is Jacob so you know it is what it is now you typically see people spin on the great wheel the traditional way that's not what I'm doing because I didn't have the ability to control the drafting with my left hand so stepping away from traditional method of spinning I am doing a short backward draw on the great wheel using two hands and this solved all of my frustration and all of my problems and while I'm doing this occasionally long draw starts happening um, it, it just naturally starts to happen so if you're struggling with long draw on the great wheel or on any other spinning wheel, go back to the shortward backward draft and the pinch pullback release backward draft like this and let your body figure out those motions and then you will automatically begin to move into the actual long draw as you can see here. but. You know, when you get stuck, it's fine. Just pinch and pull back. I cannot stress to you enough how okay it is to use two hands to draft your fiber when you're spinning on the great wheel. I mean, I was taught you don't spin that way on the great wheel. You only spin one way. And that's, that doesn't have to be true. So... Um, allow yourself to learn at your speed and your method and allow the process to happen naturally. All right, so sometimes when you're working with the fiber and it's not wanting to do exactly what you want, it's okay to switch hands to what your body's used to. No big deal. No big deal at all. You do what works for you. Like I've said, I'll probably say it a hundred times during this video. Now, here's where 
you can see the long draw drafting happening. I find it's easier to long draw if I separate the fibers out in the drafting triangle. Now, it's a little fiddly having a drafting triangle with only one hand, but it does work. And um, so here I'm at the end of a row lag that has kind of disintegrated, if you will. It's completely weird at the end. So two hands to fiddle with it and get it to function properly. It, once again, two hands with a great wheel. It doesn't really matter as long as you're making your yarn. But now, of course, you get to the end of a row leg and you have to attach another one. And if you've been spinning, you know how to attach new yarn. Now, you can do a worsted or a woolen joint. It doesn't matter. Um, I've done both on this wheel. I've used two hands a lot for the joins, even when I don't have to use two hands for the drafting. I have learned how to attach with just one hand and do it like that. But even with the experience I have now, I still have to stop and use two hands with these joins quite frequently. So this is a worse uh, woolen join. I laid the new rail leg underneath the yarn in my hand, underneath the single, you can do it on top, and then allow the twist to begin building in and start drafting back while kind of guiding the original single um, through my hand at the same time. And then of course, double check the strength of that join before you wrap it around the spindle shaft makes a big difference and prevents the join from breaking hopefully although mine still breaks sometimes and there's nothing wrong with that um as i transition from short backward draft to actual long draw i found it was easiest to create a drafting triangle by pulling the fiber kind of sideways away from the single that was forming which limits the amount of fibers being pulled into the single, into the twist, um, the amount of fibers being twisted together. There we go. That's the words. Um, huge difference. Even though this is a really, really thin, full of air roll leg that has been drafted already, it has more air in it, it's still easier to pull the fibers out in a triangle form as you're drafting. Now, there are different ways to do long draw on the great wheel. You can double draft where you pull out a bunch of slubs and then you draft them further. Here's a tip for you, or you can do it my way, but here's a tip. Remember that twist likes to go to the thin parts of the yarn first. So when you get a slub, they can be really easy to draft with, without using another hand, but using a second hand does prevent a weak spot from happening because sometimes those thin spots just keep on drafting thinner and thinner until they break. So as I've said probably a million times now, you do what works for you to create the yarn that you want to have. And there you go. These are my tips for spinning long draw on the great wheel when you've never done it or you're frustrated you're having trouble learning these are my tips this is how i learned and this is how i do it typically so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and um if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please leave them down in the comment section below. Give this video a thumbs up, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys!